The lymph node examination is part of the general examination and, as with any procedure on a patient, you must make sure you wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient and take adequate consent. This is particularly important with an examination of the lymph nodes as the majority of the examination is done from behind the patient. Therefore, it is vital that the patient knows what you're about to do and where you wish placing your hands. To begin with, let's examine where the lymph nodes are positioned. In terms of assessing the supracavicular lymph nodes, they are, as the name would suggest, above the clavicle, situated in the supracavicular fossa, and are felt with both sides feeling deeply inside the fossa. And the lymph nodes have been exaggerated and can be seen here. The submental lymph nodes are examined with direct pressure underneath the chin, as is seen here. As with all parts of the lymph node examination, both hands are used. You are feeling for a series of features on any potential masses or nodes found. The submental lymph nodes, previously examined and now identified here in red, are separate from the submandibular lymph nodes which run along the lengths of the jaw and are again examined carefully with the fingers bilaterally. The cervical lymph nodes are located in a Z-shaped pattern on the side of the neck. They are deep to the sternocleidomastoid muscles and shallow to the scalene muscles and are examined with the flats of the fingers in this similar Z shape. The preauricular lymph nodes are located just anterior to the tragus of the ear and are examined whereas the post-auricular lymph nodes are actually located behind the pinna and are examined so. The final set of lymph nodes on the skull are the occipital lymph nodes and are located at the top of the neutral line where trapezius joins into the skull.